Hi friends, hope you are fine. In this video, let us understand animal cell structure and function within 5 to 10 minutes. We will be discussing each structure starting from the nucleus. As animal cell is a eukaryotic cell, it is having a true nucleus. A true nucleus means the genetic material is bounded by a membrane. Nucleus is the largest organelle in the animal cell which is a double membrane bound organelle where DNA is present. This DNA has information for synthesis of all proteins that is required for the functioning of the cell or it is a controlling center of the cell. It has pores or nuclear pores that is meant for exchanging materials between nucleus and the cytoplasm. The second structure is the nucleolus. There is a dark region within the nucleus which is called as nucleolus. This region is RNA rich and it is the site of ribosome subunit synthesis. Ribosomes are involved in protein synthesis. So let us move outside. The next organelle is rough endoplasmic reticulum and this is the only organelle that is having direct connection with the nuclear membrane. As you see, this RER is having direct connection with the nuclear membrane. RER is called rough endoplasmic reticulum as this is studded with ribosomes. It is an interconnected membranous sacs where ribosomes are present. Ribosomes are attached to the RER by means of riboforin proteins. The function of RER as ribosomes are present it is involved in protein synthesis, especially secretory and membrane proteins. It is also a site of post-translational modification. Once the protein is synthesized, it enters RER where it is further glycosylated or further modified. Then it moves to Golgi apparatus. So RER is the site of secretory protein synthesis. And the next organelle in line is Golgi apparatus. The protein then moves to Golgi apparatus. Golgi apparatus is flattened membranous sacs which can be called as the sorting center of the cell. This receiving region is called as the cis Golgi. The central region is called as the median Golgi and this dispatching center is called the trans Golgi. The proteins enters into the cis region where it is further modified and further packed and it is dispatched as vesicles that pinches off from the Golgi. So it is the packaging center or sorting center of the cell. It is also involved in secretion of hormones, mucus, formation of lysosome, acrosome, etc. It is also the site of post-translational modification. For example, if a protein is to be directed to lysosome then that protein is stacked with manosyxphosphate. So any protein that is stacked with manosyxphosphate inside the Golgi will be directed towards the lysozyme. So this type of addressing is done at Golgi apparatus. That's why it is called as the sorting center of the cell. And the next structure is a smooth endoplasmic reticulum. It is similar to that of rough endoplasmic reticulum but without ribosomes. They are interconnected membranous sacs without ribosomes. It is a site of lipid synthesis like cholesterol and phospholipid synthesis. It is also involved in drug detoxification. The next organelle is the ribosome. Ribosomes are the site of protein synthesis in animal cell. The ribosome is ATS as in all other eukaryotes. Ribosomes are present attached to RER, rough endoplasmic reticulum, or freely distributed in the cytoplasm. Ribosomes are nanomachines that makes proteins. And the next structure is the mitochondrion. Mitochondrion is a double membrane bound structure that is involved in ATP synthesis or energy production through cellular respiration. 
This inner membrane is the site of ATP synthesis or electron transport chain, whereas matrix is also the site of beta oxidation. It is called as the powerhouse of the cell. And the next structure is the peroxisome. Peroxisome is a single membrane bound organelle. It is actually a compartment for oxidation reaction. As a result of oxidation reactions, H2O2 is synthesized that is very toxic to cell and this hydrogen peroxide is degraded by the catalase enzyme that is present inside peroxisome. So it acts as hydrogen peroxide scavenger, it's a site of chemical detoxification and also it is involved in lipid biosynthesis. Next organelle is the lysosome. Lysosome is called as the suicidal bags of the cell as it contains many digestive enzymes. It is a single membrane bound organelle. Its function is intracellular and extracellular digestion. And also if the cell is infected, lysosome can digest the cell and it is called as autolysis or cellular autophagy. It has a slightly acidic pH of around 5. At that pH, majority of the digestive enzymes works. As it has digestive enzymes capable of degrading the ender cell, it is called as the suicidal bags of the cell. And the next structure is the centriol. Centriol is a paired barrel shaped organelle that is seen near the nuclear envelope. Its major function is the formation of spindle fibers during cell division for the proper movement of chromosomes. And the next structure is cytoskeleton. Just like the skeletal framework we have, the cell has a skeletal framework which is called as the cytoskeleton. It is made up of three types of filaments, microfilaments, intermediate filaments and microtubules. The function is it provides the skeletal framework for the cell and also it is involved in the distribution and also movement of organelles within the cell. The positioning of different organelles is also controlled by cytoskeleton. And the next structure is the plasma membrane. Plasma membrane is the outermost covering in the case of animal cell as it doesn't have a cell wall. Plasma membrane is a selectively permeable membrane that is made up of phospholipid bilayer and proteins. It controls the exchange of materials between cell and outside and also maintains a constant environment within the cell. And the final structure is the flagellum. In many eukaryotic cells, often single-celled eukaryotes have flagellum for movement. It's a structure meant for locomotion or movement. It has a 9 plus 2 microtubule organization. These three, flagellum, lysosome and centriole, are often absent in plant cells. Hope you got a concept about different organelles and their function within animal cell. If you find this video useful, please consider subscribing this channel. Thank you so much for your support. You are with biologyexamsforyou.com.